hello students welcome to online teaching here is a new video about a story and the name of the story is that an encounter of a special kind the present story is written by tapan mukherji this is a story about a boy who rescued nursed and saved a baby langur which was dominated by a male langur and intend to kill it in the present story the writer depicts the pictures of a bond of trust compassion and mutual understanding between man and animals here first of all i would like to read the story line by line and try to explain it in easy language before going to discuss the story we just have to think about the title of this story an encounter of a special kind we know that encounter means it is a sudden attack on someone and why it is special kind why the writer suggested that kind of title this is also a autobiographical sketch in the life of tapan mukherji and when he was a 15 years old boy he faced a such kind of horrible incident in his life and we also introduced here the writer wanted to depict the bond of trust compassion and mutual understanding between man and animals we know that man as well as animals are the factors of our environment and if we want to save our environment we must have to as a human being a great attraction towards animal as well as each and every part of our environment so in the present story we are also going to discuss such kind of horrible incident through this incident we learnt that how writer is greatly attracted towards these factors of environment as like animals and he trying to save and nursed and rescued the baby langur from the dominant male langur who wanted to kill it now i would like to read the story here as well as try to give the meaning of a hard words you have to listen it carefully in the very introductory part of the story the writer said that my father was a medical professional working for a private company in rani ganj in west bengal the officers of the company was housed in individual bangalows inside a large campus our house was in a corner of the campus the officers club was adjacent to the boundary wall of our garden the compound was luxurious with green grass colorful flowers and host of tall majestic trees the household and the kitchen garden of the kitchen gardens of the households and the magnificent trees constantly attracted squirrels and many species of birds a group of langurs had even made their den in an aswata tree nearby they had all become part and parcel of our uh, existence and daily life in the introductory part of the story we learnt that the writer and his father was a medical professional in rani ganj which is situated in the state of west bengal where he lived 
near by that garden where was adjacent a officers club as well as the writer also mentioned here the beautiful scenario around that bangalore a beautiful flowers are there beautiful gardens are there and full of majestic trees and then the writer said that the squirrels as well as many species of birds became part and parcel of their existence and their daily life so from his childhood the writer greatly attracted with a nature as well as animal beings as a medical professional his father who lived in a individual bangalows at that bangalows which is a near by that gardens here the writer depicted the relationship between man and animals and from his childhood he was greatly attracted towards the nature in the next paragraph the writer said here a small incident on a saturday afternoon left a profound effect on me and unfolded before my eyes a whole new dimensions to the wonders of gods a whole new dimensions ek navin pailu of the wonders of gods creation creation means nirmiti devacha nirmiti cha ek navin pailu tancha dolya samarun kiwa tancha dolya dekat tani pahayla asa te ya thikani sangnyacha prayatna karat ahet ani yacha madun suddha kadachit that uh, horrible incidents which is uh, happened on that saturday afternoon when the writer was busy in reading a story books just like for any other child the holiday provided an opportunity for me to become engrossed in various magazines and story books published specially for children in the festive seasons in the childhood days we spend our times in especially in vacations in west bengal there is a during uh, durga puja there was a vacations and a lot of sparing time to the writer and as a childhood he greatly attracted towards reading a story books as like this the writer was also sparing his time to reading a story books and reading a magazines during the durga puja's vacations at that time that new dimensions of the god's creations unfolded in front of the eyes of the writer when he was sparing a time to reading a story books after a hearty lunch my parents and my younger sister lay down for a afternoon nap and i settled down with a story book the writer was busy in reading a story book here in afternoon times his father as well as his sister after taking a lunch they are uh, taking some naps in afternoon times the quiet afternoon presented the perfect backdrop for reading an adventure stories we know that if uh, there was a silence zone we like to read in silent time or silent zone a uh, adventure stories a book likes adventure stories at the same the writer was busy in reading adventure stories here in the afternoon time there was a silence and he was 
busy in reading that adventurous stories. <coughs> the silence was occasionally broken by the sound of my family snoring. The intermittent scraping of house sparrows, the harsh cawing of a cow, crow, and the shrill call of kite flying high above the ground. Minutes ticked tick by, I became deeply absorbed in the books. Instead of a noise around the afternoon times, in the afternoon times, the writer was busy in reading a books. Because he was greatly interested in reading a books in afternoon times as like adventurous stories. We also uh, like reading a uh, story books as uh, as uh, adventurous stories in our childhood days. At the same, the writer is going to read that kind of story books in afternoon times, and he neglected towards what kind of sound around himself. Then writer said, suddenly I heard a group of street dogs barking furiously in the distance, but there was a commotion of a group of dogs. And it was suddenly happened. I chose to ignore the commotion thinking that the pack of dogs might have concern a helpless pig. But soon the barking became louder and more aggressive and the alarm count of a flock of crows added to the cacophony. I also hear the distance was approaching closer. First of all, the writer was busy in reading adventure stories in afternoon times. He neglected the commotion of dogs. But curiosity got the better of me. But later, it was continuously uh, barking a dogs into the street and uh, there was a group of dogs. And that's why a curiosity got the better of me. And the writer wanted to see what was happened there. Why dog was uh, crying loudly? Leaving the book aside, I rushed to the veranda to see what was going on. And the writer wanted to see here why the uh, group of dog is barking continuously as, as in a group. I glanced toward the roof of the clubhouse and saw something horrible. A big male langur, apparently the leader of its group, was holding a baby langur in his hands, mercilessly biting it all over with the definite intent to kill. And that was a horrible incident which unfolded the dimensions of a God's creation in front of the eyes of the writer. At that afternoon times when the writer was busy in reading a book. What was the incident? The incident was the male dominant male langur intent to kill a baby langur and he captured in his hands. And other lesser group of the lesser group members of that langur helplessly sing towards that male dominant langur. As well as the helpless mother of the baby and the lesser members of the langur group were scattered on the roof of the buildings nearby watching the baby being killed. What was the motive of that dominant langur that he intend to kill that baby langur? I recall the terrible custom in the animal's clan, according to which a dominant male usually does not allow another male baby or adult to survive within its groups. And suddenly, when that kind of incident, horrible incident, seen by the writer, he recalled the customs in the animal clan. What was the custom in the animal clan? To which a dominant male usually does not allow another male baby or adult to survive within its groups. Without losing any time. I gathered a stout stick in one hand and hurled a piece of stone at the marinating langur. The langur was so infuriated that it hardly took any notice of my assault. But I, then I started throwing more stones. The dogs on their part raised their pitch of cry. 
the writer said here the intensity in the mind of writer to save that baby langur so he took a strong stick in his one hand and throwing a, a stones towards that babe, a male langur but the male langur ignored the attack of the writer he did not notice it that first it means that here we learnt through this part of the story the intention in the minds of writer to save that baby langur it is the sympathy towards that baby langur and he also recall the uh, customs into the animals in his mind so he thought that without wasting a time we must have to save that baby langur because other groups of lesser members of that langur groups helplessly seeing towards that incident as well as a helpless mothers is there so as a boy who was totally uh, who was attracted towards the uh, part of that nature and he wanted to save the life of that uh, baby langur he intentionally took a strong stick in his one hand and throwing a stone to piece of stone towards that baby uh, male langur but he did not notice that the remaining part of that story we are going to learn into the next uh, video